the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Hey, man, God bless you. Hey, we had a great study today. I think it's every time we get to have a forum and, and get into the Word of God, I do believe it's great. I believe in the leading of the Holy Spirit. And I think the fact is, it's all about uh, being open and, 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 and frank in discussions about the scriptures and, and learning and analyzing those scriptures line upon line and precept upon precept. Yeah, we can't cover everything in one session, and we're not meant to do that. We need to highlight an area and i guarantee you that every area any other areas in the scriptures especially in the teaching of christ is to to make sure to remind ourselves that we line up with the scriptures and the teaching of christ christ said in john 14 6 i'm the way the truth and the life no one comes to the father but by him and because of that that's why it's more important for us to to not only point the way but to also go the way and recognizing that eternal life is following Christ uh, for those who want to receive Christ. Yes, those of you who don't want to believe in Christ or don't want to receive salvation from our perspective, that's your choice and we respect that choice. I want you to always know that. You have a right. You should. God gave you the right to choose. For believers, you made a choice that Christ is Lord, so let Christ be Lord in your life. And meaning Lord mean is instead of doing it your way, uh, you doing it his way. And so we want to be able to talk about the different uh, atrocities and, 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 and what's going on during the day, you know, modern time, and address it and say, how do things line up with the word of God? And that's what we want to talk about today. And one of the things is I'll show you, this is the title that I'm using uh, for today. Uh, I'm going to change the uh, cover. <laughs> uh, I just used the, one of my cover from last week to, to put up there to, to start this session off. Then I just take one of my uh, pictures for the day to uh, cover the scriptures. But the title, is talking about what fellowship has Christ with Belial. Belial. Belial is what represents the evil one, the devil, and so forth. What fellowship has it? Or love with hate. What fellowship, what compatibleness, compatibility does love have with hate? Or Christ have with the devil? None. And that's what we're trying to tell you. So we're trying to address in asking these questions is why would you use hate, discrimination, uh, murder, adultery, and all those things to and say that it's okay because it lines up with God. It has no compatibility. I hope that you start talking to the people in the medical profession and sit there and those people that are sitting there doing things that cause uh, people from different ethnic groups to die in, in, in procedures or in birth, uh, that ain't right. So talk to them. Let them know your eternal life is on the line while you're sitting there doing something that you think lines up with God's will, but murder does not line up with God's will. Not doing the best that you can just, and, and, and or doing the less that you can is not lining up with God's will. But the whole point I just want to sit there and say is that we're not supposed to uh, do things that's not compatible with the teaching of Christ. And, and that's what I think we need to ensure people do that, is to do the thing that's compatible with the teaching and encourage other people to do what's compatible with the teaching. And, and not to hurt people or put people down, but to love one another, amen? All right, so I think you're gonna enjoy this session. I guarantee you will. And I've even used some AI. <laughs> My son gave me something little with AI, and I used that to put some scriptures down, and it gave some interesting comments 
or synopsis of those scriptures that I want to share with you. And I think we can continue to use those to, to get that non-biased to at least less least bias bias uh, perspective of the scriptures. Amen. God bless you. I'll see you in here. And don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to give comments when you can and understand that Yeshua, Jesus, Yeshua is the Hebrew name for Jesus in the English translation or transliterations. So uh, I hope you enjoy the study and, and I hope you come back again and we'll continue to just put the word out from my understanding and from what the scriptures say. The key to it is the whole purpose of using the slides is to show what the scriptures say. And I'll ask you to do is follow the scriptures. That's what you need to do. And that's what I believe is right. Amen. All right. And don't forget to subscribe. And now let's go ahead into our discussion that we had this Sunday. I'll check you when I see you later. Amen. Hope you enjoy. Bye-bye. So we got what fellowship has Christ with the allow or love with hate? There's no fellowship. They're two opposite spectrums. Mm -hmm. and, and that's what we want to be able to point out. Okay, so let's go ahead and go into these verses. This is, and, I, and like I said, I'm telling y'all, this is a synopsis. Hey, look, uh, exegete <laughs> uh, of, of, of artificial intelligence, looking at the scripture. The scripture's there for you, so you can make your own exegete. But it just it's interesting how a computer can take those same scriptures and also say, this is how I'm reading it, right? Mm -hmm. This is how the, what the O's and X's are. Yeah, that, well, I mean, that computer is giving, it's giving parameters. Mm -hmm. And the parameters is the, the, the Bible. Yeah. And it's, and, and within those parameters is given the ability to, to correlate like information and you regurgitate stuff that's based on those restraints which were the words the word of god the bible yes, yes sir and so how could it come up with something that's other than it was there and it does and it doesn't bring it does, one of the things too is when we talk about technology and science and everything else what it's saying is i'm taking out the personal biases you know what I mean? Because it's still the algorithms are still based upon the the person who the biases that the person who's creating. Mm -hmm. the so there is there you can't say it's without any bias. Right. Because everyone has bias to yeah. a certain degree. And the programmer can only program based on his personal experiences and, and bias the, the the program itself but now the information that it gives it, it i think that it can be influenced a little a little i think yeah because i think the thing it's going to do is to, it's from a mathematical uh perspective the, the, it's gonna, they're gonna say it is what it is, you know, two yeah. plus two is four. So go ahead and read that, see what you got. Check that out. I'll let you read all, all of them. It's like four, I think it's like three slides. So let's, right. let's read them. Now, do you think you want to be able to talk about each comment? Maybe you could do that too, is what I'm saying. Yes, you. Okay. okay, go ahead. Okay, so these verses are from the New Testament, specifically from the second epistle of Paul to the Corinthians, chapter six, verse 15 to 18. In this passage, the Apostle Paul addresses the importance of believers separating themselves from unbelievers and from anything that is contrary to God's teaching, which was what the line of talking that I was talking about. Exactly. Which is kind of <laughs> Exactly. Ironic, exactly. You know? um, so let's break down these verses, the verses. 2 Corinthians 6.15 And what concord hath Christ with Belial? Or what part hath he that believeth with an infidel? In this verse, Paul is emphasizing the incompatibility between Christ and Belial, mm -hmm. who represent the wickedness of the devil. Come on, man. 
he also highlights the contrast between believers, those who have faith in Christ, come out, and unbelievers, infidels, suggesting that there should be a clear distinction between them. And there is. Hey, hey, Amen. Now yeah. that's the they said it. And look, this is a that's what I'm talking about, the the O's and X's or whatever. It is, the thing is saying is there should be a distinction between those who profess and follow the teaching of Christ, just like there's a difference between the teaching of Christ himself and the devil. You know what I mean? And, and, and you, that's why the Bible said that a tree is known by what? His fruit. His fruit. People, you, you could sit there and play this little whatever game you think. And, and like you said, <coughs> we're talking about what? 400, 500, 1600, uh, 1500. When, when they had to come up with an excuse for justification of human trafficking right that they had to say they had to say we you can do this to these people because they are not under that's what i think pope nicholas v i was telling you about in 1500 or 600 said uh, these people are not covered yeah. under by the grace of god and you can put them in perpetual slavery and, and even himself, when you sit there and look at that scripture right there, just that scripture, mm. it's like, what concord have you with, with between Christ and Bilal? Do you tell us, you have told, this is a church leader. At that time, that was a dominant uh, okay, but, ministry, but, right? But Go understand ahead. that just because he was a leader and considered yeah. a leader of a church mm -hmm. that represented God and Yeshua does not mean that God put him in that position. Exactly. Okay, so man put him in that position. So yeah. Man put this person in that position. And if man did it, mm -hmm. then there was a gender behind <laughs> it. He he fulfilled certain requirements that they want. Yeah. You know, yeah. I, I just don't see where in this dispensation, come on now, where God puts an individual in a position to influence the 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 vast amount of people that this man influenced. Right. They the, had, way, they, the, the way this 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 is set up, we, we also have to go right back to Christ. Mm -hmm. You have a a leader who has followers and followers who have followers. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah. so it is a a form of a reverse pyramid. It did. Not, yeah. Not, not the pyramids that we look at that are, are patterned off the pyramids in Egypt, where mm -hmm. you know the head is at the top and everything from the bottom supports it. It's it's different. Yeah. The the the, the, the example that is of the kingdom is that you have everything supported by the leader. Everything is built on top of that, and the leader supports everything, and so it flows upward not right. down it doesn't right. there, there's no such thing as trickle down right you know like trickle down economic it does not work exactly it really does not work there is no there's no righteousness in and trickle down uh economics or trickle down uh, uh economics <laughs> Very basic. so so, yeah. so to understand that that to be directly connected to that that bottom point it 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 is a only a few layers mm -hmm. that that bottom reaches up to not the entire pyramid exactly. so you can't control it all because you don't have the ability 
Nope. To minister to such a diverse group of people. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's why that's why he said depend on the Holy Spirit, right? Yes. That's what the whole purpose of the Holy Spirit is. It's, it's an individual fort. thing, and, and, and though individuals are alike, mm -hmm. there are just as many that are not alike that exactly. need specific ministry. Yes. Specific guidance mm -hmm. for specific issues that these individuals have. Yeah. Now, there's nothing new under the sun, but not everyone experiences everything. No. So one person does not have the information to give to every single person, which is why the comforter, the Ruach Hamkadesh, was Come on, brother. <laughs> I like that. Yes, sir. And, and that's why he wanted always to do that, is to be what's revealed to you by the Spirit, by the Holy Spirit. Just like he told the Peter, we use him as a good example of Christ Jesus. That he put in there for that, right? Peter was said, you are the Christ, the son of the living God. And, and Christ said, flesh and blood did not reveal that to you, but my Father from heaven. And the intent is for us to continue to uh, ministry and teaching is to be listening and sensitive to the guidance of the Holy Spirit individually, you know, people individually, you know, uh, ministries have their purpose, ministry have an organization, ministry have a structure, but it does not have authority to go outside of the teaching and doctrine of Christ. And that's what y'all need to make sure you understand. Uh, from from an individual, from a family perspective, a church leader perspective, everything needs to always point back to the doctrine, the teaching of Christ. And that's what we were talking about here, is that the, the and I'll bring it back up in a second, is the fact is that there should be a clear distinction between the believer and the unbeliever. Yes. Uh, and if you don't get that, and you want to sit there and use these scriptures as a tool to hurt other people, to oppress other people, I'm telling you is you, you, you're not going to inherit the, uh, the kingdom of God. Now, and we do believe that that, that, that that Pope Nicholas that did that to say that these people are not covered under the grace of God, he did it for a financial reason. Uh, and many, matter of fact, many of the, the, the people we call leaders, all the way from the slave trade to the colonizations, what was done to the Native Americans and, and what was done to uh, indigenous servants and what was done in the caste system is all based on how to get power and to manipulate people to get wealth and is being done even today. All about trying to get power. You know, the political divide we have in this country is all about power. It's like, we gotta get the White House. Why? We gotta control Congress, but why? What do you do when you get there? You know what I mean? <laughs> if you, you look at the design that, that was given, for these people to, to be leaders of this nation. It's not that you get the, the you know, the, the, the presidency and, and both houses for yourselves, which is so flipped and, and, and warped and, and out of character of yeah. how the design was. It's that you get it so that the people that you represent have a voice. Have and a have voice. say so over the opponents who want this. So yeah. if the majority, which is what these these representatives are, they they represent the the majority of this particular group of people in this particular region of this country. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If, if a bunch of them agree on a certain thing, more so than these other folks who agree on an opposite thing, it's the majority that rules. But what's gotten so warped is these people who are supposedly representing the people in their districts, they're not. 
they're representing themselves as a group of those who are in power and giving yeah. those the, the their desires yeah yeah making laws out of their desires not the desires of the people so it's so flipped and warped and and understand it has no choice but to be because it is patterned after after the god of this world exactly uh, look uh, belial again he right is control yeah. yes so yeah it, it yeah. wouldn't it, if it were to fall in line <laughs> with christ then you know I, I can't imagine what would be coming next <laughs> yeah you know, yeah according to the scriptures yeah you know because if, if it, this entire nation were to follow come on now teachings of christ as as Christ, right, right, then the rest of this world should be flipped and on its head, and and all hell should be going on against us. Yeah, but yeah. as it stands, it's everyone against everyone, which is the design of the enemy. Enemy division. Yeah, he comes to steal, and, kill, and, and destroy. Yes. And so, and so understand that, but we digress. Yeah, <laughs> what, what whole point we're just trying to say, like you said though, is that for, it, it actually stays in there because we're talking about the compatibility. You'll see the next one I'm talking about, but yeah. there should be a distinction. And distinction. even like we're talking about, with, with, even with politics is the power to be in control is for the benefit of the whole nation. It should not, be. Not, not be in control to, to continue a system. Hey, you know what? You know, a system yeah. that was instituted to only benefit, like you said, if you say benefit, a selective few of people. Uh, when it first, our country, our country, we talked about the, the laws and the system was to benefit the people who were landowners. Uh, people, if you didn't own land, you, they, you know, you didn't vote. Uh, you you didn't have a say so. This, this was all about those who are had wealth, uh, and and the system continued to evolve. Where we're gonna bring a little bit more in because we can't just oppress these people. We can't just keep these people poor and ignorant uh, without getting some kind of uh, backlash. And then they use the divide and conquer to keep people from uniting for the benefit of all yeah that's that's all we're just trying to say is that you really want and that's what the kingdom of god is about is the benefit and blessing of all uh even a, when god said you know when he set up the children of israel you know going to the promised land all those laws and guidance was to benefit the whole group you know what i mean it was never designed to benefit just a few that's why he even had the fact you know when we got to the and people, the king, uh, the children of Israel did not have a king uh, as far as who was in charge of the 12 tribes. Or who, were, who it, it, it was because God was their king. Yeah. And that's and how he... Look at what they accomplished. And come on now. You right. Know, look, at, look at what God moved in their behalf for. Mm -hmm. Even even though they turned away over and over again, over and over again, he still his his, his favor and his yeah. love for them, which which really extended out to mankind because right. through them, the world shall have the opportunity to come yes. back to him. Exactly, to come back to the garden. They were cast yeah. out of the garden. Here's an opportunity through these people to come back to the garden. Right. Uh, uh, I'm just gonna bring my seed through that that group of people. Yes. That that was the whole tip. But the group would look and say, in the garden, everything was taken care. Of. Everything was provided for them. Uh, children of Israel, I'm I, matter of fact, I, everything's set up for you. Matter of fact, I'm I'm a, I'm gonna run these other people out. They you know, they got towns already built. You know what I mean? Infrastructure's already in there. Uh, a land flowing with milk and honey. But all you had to do is just do my what I tell you to do. And I'm sending my different prophets, Samuel and so forth, 
to to for you to hear me if you don't want to hear. And don't forget men of Exodus where they talk he talked to them all at one time. They made a decision. Uh Brother Asin, you 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 talk to God. <laughs> and then you come talk to us. Mm. Now where well, God was actually sitting there saying de demonstrating, I'm ready to talk to all of you. Yeah, he he, he it wasn't his will to go for <laughs> one. <laughs> You know to have a mediator <laughs> yeah yeah he, he was he was he was performing the role of the the ruach the, the come on spirit. now exactly that uh, that in that <laughs> early time uh -huh. what the people could not fathom being in the presence of such power and authority when it represented righteousness yeah. and they saw their wretchedness Exactly. In so in that, they could in, not approach that uh, in their own thinking. They but said the they'll die. Of God <laughs> was, was, was shedding himself to them. Come to me. <laughs> yeah. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you.